We begin with breaking information in the Flint airport attack. This is the Facebook page of the man accused of stabbing airport police officer Jeff Neville. Amor Fatui is from Canada and came into the country from New York just last week. Now tonight we are learning that Officer Neville is recovering at Hurley Hospital in Flint from a stab wound to the neck. Jeff Neville's condition has been upgraded now to stable. Our team coverage begins with 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel, who's live from the airport with more on this investigation. Brian. Yeah, that officer, not only is he stable, he was listed as satisfactory and resting today in a local hospital. And now we do know that the FBI is investigating this case as an act of terrorism after talking with the suspect. And we now know that suspect. Amor Fatui, and he's about 50 years old. He is a Canadian, and he crossed through New York at Lake Champlain. He has been here since June 16th, approximately, and this individual, this suspect, he walked into this airport. We're not sure why this airport, the FBI, would not give us information as to why the Flint airport was targeted, but he did go up to a common area where he did have bags in his hand. He ended up going to a restroom and he came out with a very large knife, 12 inch knife with eight inch serrated blade. And he went up to the officer and he stabbed him. Here is a sound bite describing the moments before that happened. We do know Mr. Fatui uh, entered the airport. He spent a little time on the first level. Then he went upstairs. He spent some time in the restaurant up there. And then he came out. He was carrying baggage. Uh, he went into a restroom. He uh, spent a little time in the restroom, uh, dropped both bags and came out, uh, pulled out a knife, uh, yelled Allah Akbar, and stabbed Lieutenant Navelle in the neck. Now there was a struggle that ensued afterwards. We were told that Lieutenant Neville, he he fought the entire way. He was actually the one that fought this suspect to the ground before other law enforcement officials were able to pin him to the ground before he could hurt anybody else. Now we also do know that there's investigation going on right now by the FBI in Canada as well, looking into this suspect's background. Back to you. All right, Brian Abel reporting from the airport, uh, Bishop Airport in Flint. Thank you for the report. Well, you were looking at uh, pictures of the FBI surrounding a car that's parked close to the airport terminal. It has a Canadian license plate from Quebec. Now, the FBI has not confirmed if this indeed does belong to that suspect. However, we do know he is indeed from Quebec. By the way, also, we have received now the complaint filed in Eastern District of Michigan by the FBI. Uh, this is a criminal complaint against Mr. Fatui that explains and documents exactly um, what the FBI said happened out there at the airport today. We will post this online, but it does give you a very detailed look at uh, the actions as reported by the FBI and other law enforcement agents uh, who talked about how he went into that restroom, pulled the knife out, came back out again, uh, the action of attacking that officer, and then what happened afterwards, and some fascinating things that he said to police after they took him down. He wanted to know why they didn't shoot him. Well, he certainly, that officer is certainly lucky to be alive, and thank yep. goodness he did fight back with bravery. Meantime, let's turn to 7 Action News reporter Amir David, who's at Metro Airport in Romulus right now. Yeah, Amir, you'd think they might have stepped up security following the attack at Bishop Airport in Flint, have they? You would. I mean, the question really is, what are they doing about it tonight? That is the question I had for security officials today, especially given the fact that this is the most traveled airport in the state. Interestingly, we couldn't get a whole lot of answers out of them. Security personnel telling us this is a very sensitive issue. Millions of passengers enter and leave through these doors each year, and tonight many of them are thinking about an incident that sits close to home. It's bothersome. It's makes us worry about our kids and our own safety and for everybody around us. Said at a small airport, you wouldn't expect something like that. So, um, yeah, it's definitely makes you think. At Detroit's Metro Airport, we met Javier Saldana, a Flint native who just returned from Europe, nearby Brussels, where a separate travel-related attack just happened. But now coming home, flying to Detroit, and I'm from Flint, and hearing about what happened in Flint, now to kind of throws me off a little bit like, okay, what's going on? Everything's happening across the world. So I, it's just kind of concerning for me. We came to the airport tonight to get some answers from authorities about what security measures they have in place should something similar happen here. But no airport official would talk to us on camera saying that revealing protocol for security is a sensitive issue. 
However, later in a statement, they did say there is a heightened level of awareness at DTW right now. Our public safety team is advising our staff, especially our officers, to be vigilant and remain aware of their surroundings. We remain committed to protecting everyone on our grounds. That's our number one priority. Now I did talk to a TSA official off camera. He tells me if something does happen, TSA agents are to page airport uh, airport police immediately. Airport police is stationed on site. They are the first responders and they are expected to come here immediately with it within just a matter of minutes. We are told that they are regularly trained to handle these kinds of scenarios. Live tonight at DTW, I'm Mira David, 7 Action News. Yeah, Mira, you bring up a point I always wonder about. Are TSA agents themselves armed or do they just call in the police and stand back? Yeah, I did ask about that. They are not armed, but this is something that has become kind of a national debate, really, when you look at all the incidents that have happened across the world, and we are seeing them happen, it seems, more and more. So it should be interesting to see how all of that is going to shift the conversation. We'll stay on top of it, of course, and see how it all shakes out. Guys, back to you. I'm sure they're going to be talking about it, especially in light of this latest stabbing, you know? Oh, yeah. All right, Amira, thank you for the report Absolutely. from the airport. Increasing.